Hi, hello, welcome back for another video. My name is Kaylee Trippett and I am a portrait photographer based out of the Treasure Coast of Florida. Today I'm going to walk you through another editing tutorial as well as some culling tips on Lightroom Classic CC. This is a fun Game of Thrones shoot from May that is long finished and tucked away, but I decided to visit it again and edit it a bit differently. I've already culled the session for the most part just for the sake of the video length, but I can do a quick walkthrough of how I whittled the image count down from about 200 images to these 45 that you see here on the screen. Let's talk about flagging first. Flagging is essentially the default way to pick which images you like or you don't like, and in turn, keep or delete them. When you view your images in library mode, there are three keyboard shortcuts you can use. P to pick an image, X to reject it, and U to remove the flag. I want to keep this, so I'm going to put P for pick. When you've appropriately labeled your images, you can get rid of the rejected photos in your library by clicking on photo and then delete rejected photos. So that's the basic workflow for getting ready to edit your photos. Another way to reject and pick your images is to view images in a cluster. This is called survey mode. You can get there by clicking this button at the bottom of your screen or bottom left of your library, sorry. And I will select um, like images by clicking and holding the command button as I choose what videos, or what, not videos, <laughs> excuse me, sorry, <laughs> uh, when you mess up during a uh, screen recording. Um, you can select like images and make them easier to call through by clicking command and selecting like images and then clicking your survey mode. Oop, I don't want that one, never mind. So, Whenever you go through these images, uh, you can see, I can see in fine detail the similarities and the differences and, and pick which ones I like and I don't like. And there's a small X at the bottom right of each image so you can delete them from this mode. It doesn't delete them from your disk or anything, just from this, this viewing mode. Um, I know that I don't like them being goofy there and I like them looking the same direction instead of at each other. So click X and then keyboard shortcut P for pick and I'll return to grid mode by clicking this button on the very left bottom of my screen. So another um, quick tip on organizing your photos during or after culling is to use the rating and color category options. Your colors are here at the top of your screen and so are your star rating options. And uh, you can label all of your photos at the very bottom of each little thumbnail. Now they still remain kind of small um, even if you view your pictures or your thumbnails really large they're kind of hard to see. Um, I guess it's a, a little easier you know with starring if uh, when you view them singly but for the most part you'll just kind of have to look hard for it no matter what mode you view your pictures in. So um, here are your star ratings down here and you just click one star, two, three, four, five, or whatever you want. And then down here at the bottom right are a couple of little lines that you can click on to view your color coding options. So um, your options here are what I use to organize my photos based on how I'm exporting them when I'm done editing the session. So I personally use to color the color coding system to group photos that I want to either give to my client, post on my website, use for social media, or even particular photos uh, that I'm just not sure about and I don't want to leave them unflagged. So I'm going to go ahead and start editing some of these, but first I want to color label them so I can view only what I want to edit. So press command and select that one, yep, and select this one and this one. Now to add a color label, click on those little lines right there and give them a color. I'm going to give them the color green. And boop, there you go. You can see that they all have a green label. If I want to view just a color grouping, I can select what color I want to view by selecting it up here. So I'm going to click green and there's my photos there that I've just labeled green. And we can go ahead and start editing these. Okay, so I'm going to follow a basic workflow that you may have seen in my last editing video. If you have not seen the last um, editing tutorial that I did, um, actually with the same model, you can view uh, the link down below and you can actually go visit all the blog posts and journal posts and the um, tutorial video that I did um, last time. So, okay, let's get started. 
I'm going to click a basic preset here to brighten things up. I'm going to brighten it up a little more over here in my exposure panel. Oop, too bright. Cool. And then take my warmth up. And I'm using my up and down keys on my keyboard. I can use the slider. That's an option, but I'm using my up and down keys. And that looks good to me. If I don't like how yellow or orange his skin looks, I can bump down the yellow tones in his skin here. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then orange, just a tad bit. I don't want him to look faded out or sickly. So, um, yep, and that's it. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to add a bonus film grain. And moving on. I'm going to do basic preset. Cool. And bump down my exposure just a hair. Looks good to me. Bring up my warmth. Ooh, it looks so good. And add a film grain just for the fun of it. And last but not least, the classic Marjorie Tyrell photo. Let's make it a basic preset here that I made. Cool beans. Um, bump up her exposure just a little bit. Bring up her warmth. I'm going to manipulate my greens a little bit. I'm going to come down to my HSL panel and make them cooler. I'm going to slide my hue panel to the right. Take down my saturation a little bit and bump the luminance up. And perfect. Hot diggity beans, that looks great. And maybe warm it up just a little more. And perfect. Awesome. Okay, thanks so much for joining me for this quick editing tutorial and culling tutorial. Um, all the information is below, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.